I offer this brief tale of my life. There's nothing of special interest in it. No famous exploits or heroic deeds. No extraordinary or miraculous happenings. Only the constant struggle of a Mexican painter to learn his trade and find opportunities to practice it. Orozco next makes his way to the nation's art capital, New York City. He hopes to exhibit the paintings that survived the disaster at the border. But the artist is too shaken by the experience to promote his work or pick up his brushes. The only work Orozco can get is painting Cupid dolls. His North American experiment has failed, at least for now. He returns to Mexico. Orozco is difficult, and he refuses to make things look pretty. They're angles, they're all angles and sharp, they're like daggers. Everything comes to a point, it's like a blade. You know, he's, he's slashing. And Orozco refuses to let you relax. And, uh, <laughs> and you know, he's always sticking it to you. He's not telling you he has a formula that is the answer. And he certainly mistrusts anyone else who says they do have the answer. You can't look at them as blood and knives and terrible demons and all that. You have to look at them more and more from a a long distance of time that these were wonderful images, they're beautifully done. In the end, what do I know about ancient Rome? How much do I know about the political life of ancient Rome? But I do know when I look at a painting that it is great visual perception, great visual experience. That's where the lasting qualities are. It's not in the story. The story is just the beginning. <laughs>